back into a plank, nice and stable position, and we're raising one leg up. So our core there is locked in, and it's, you're activating the muscle when you lift those legs up. And also, clench your, your, your glute, your butt cheek, and it's working your bum as well, and working that bum there. You good? So that's, that is a plank leg raise. We're gonna do two more, and these are from an extended plank. So extended plank, basically, is a press-up position. Rock your shoulders a little bit further forward, so you're locked in there. To make the plank harder, so bring your feet closer together, to make it easier, have your feet wider apart. And the first one then is a superman plank. So that nice lock position, you're locked in there, your core's locked, your bum's down, and all we're doing is making that superman. So one arm forward, your hips don't rotate, your bum stays down there, your body stays locked. Change sides. In this exercise, we always do it nice and slowly. So we're not doing it fast, nice and slowly. Make that Superman, and then change sides. So that is an extended Superman plank. Okay, the next one then is hot hands. This is uh, often used in MetaFit classes. Pretty much similar exercise. We're there locked in an extended plank. Bring one hand up. Nice and slowly, the body stays straight, back down, the opposite hand up, nice and slowly, and back down. And that's the exercise there. All your core there is locking in, and those muscles are firing, trying to stabilize the body. Okay. The next three exercises are really tough. They're mountain climber, alternate mountain climber, and squat thrust. So the first one is a, is a squat thrust. So your arms are down, your body's straight, and all we're doing is bringing your knees to the inside of your elbows, but by keeping your bum nice and low. So in, back, in, back. Good exercise, your core's working hard there, your hip flexors, your legs working hard, your whole body is working hard in this exercise. Okay, so that's a squat for us. We've also got mountain climbers, which some people find very hard to do, and all it is is alternate legs, come forward like you're climbing a mountain. Nice and fast, nice and powerful. Your knees should be coming up to the inside of your elbows. That's a mountain climber. Woo! The next one then is an alternate mountain climber. This one here is more for your obliques, internal and external obliques, to the sides of your core. You're bringing the opposite leg to the opposite, opposite elbow. This is it done slowly. This is it done fast. So alternate mountain climbers. We've got a couple more to do. These are all to do with types of sit-ups. Okay, the first one then is a slow scissor kick. So we, we have our body nice and flat. We have our hands behind our body. And what you can have is a weight here as well to activate, start firing on the top of the core. So you start with one leg nice and high, one leg low, and all we do, we change the upper leg. This is the only exercise where you do it nice and slowly. The slower you do it, the more you start feeling this in the upper and lower part of your core. So it's an alternate, or a slow scissor kick. Push your hands on your thighs, and all you're doing is bringing your fingers up your legs about three or four inches, up to there. At the same time, the core is crunching in, working that core, the middle part of the core.